Guys, we're going on tour in February and make sure you click the link in the description to buy your tickets. If you've got a single ticket and you're not sat with your friends, do not worry because it is going to be an, a place where you can make loads of friends. You can message a Saving Grace account if you're feeling a little bit nervous and we can make sure that you know someone before you go. Um, this is a wholesome time. We're all going to get drunk and have a great time. So buy the tickets and get a vodka cranberry. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got the queen of YouTube. It's Olivia Neal. Hello. Hey. We finally managed to get you on this sofa. I've always wanted to come on here. I, do you know, <laughs> I was like, I forced you here and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you caved. I'm so happy to be here. Like, I'm such a fan of the what podcast. What a fucking girl. I love that. It's so weird because I remember watching you when you were at your little school. Really? Yeah, your little vlogs. Doing your get ready with me. Oh. And now you're like, you're like a fashion icon now. No. You're in Paris, darling. No. I don't know if it was Paris Fashion Week you went to, but it was one of them. I did go. <laughs> did you? Yeah. What's the fashion week like? People make it seem like amazing on social media. And it right. is like, it's incredible that like you get to go there and like the fashion shows are really cool. Mm -hmm. But like, it is just all a bit overrated. You just oh. kind of sit there and look nice. Yeah. Is that just the vibe? And it's like, it's, it's like a Black Mirror episode. Like Ooh. everyone like dresses up and like goes and sits there. Like no one really speaks to each other. Like half the influencers, like I don't, I have no like credentials in fashion, you know? I don't oh, know I any of what I'm watching. I can't yeah. like, you know, <laughs> yeah. like I'm like, what oh, I quite walk? like that skirt, you know? Yeah, hundred percent. I just do it for the Instagram pics and go. Yeah. That is exactly what I do. And then like fashion week parties are a whole other thing. I was going to say, is there like after parties? Uh, yeah, there is. What's the vibe? I always get like obliterated. As you should. But I'm it's not the honest. place to be getting obliterated because like also there's like so many celebrities there. So there's yeah. a lot of like everyone just kind of standing around like. So no one else is really drunk. Me and my friends would get really drunk. <laughs> yeah, you guys in the corner. like Yeah. Mm. But then it's like I burn myself out because you have to like go out every night and we don't have to go out every night. That's But you will. Yeah. yeah, of course. And then like you have to wake up at like 7 a.m. and like make yourself look nice for a show. Never and it's like me. all day. Never be me. No. I swear to God. I'm, I'm, and I'm not a functional hungover person. Today's sponsor of the podcast is Gymshark. It's that time of the year where the famous Gymshark Black Friday sale is back on. And this year it's up to 70% off of everything. You heard me right. That is 70% off of site wide. That is a bargain. The quality is amazing. It's thick. The leggings are not see-through. And you know what? I don't go to the gym, but I like to dress like I do. So it's good at fooling people that you work. Work? Work out? Leggings are squat proof. They're comfortable. They're thick. They're stretchy. Look at that. That's a turner from you. And they come in loads of nice different colors, designs. There is something for everyone on the Gymshark website. And it can also keep you extra warm in winter because the summer's gone now. And as you lucky people are saving Grace listeners, they are giving you 10% extra off of the already 70% sale. So to get that extra 10% off of the 70% sale, all you've got to do is use the code Saving Grace ready for their Black Friday sale. So if you want a twin like me wearing Gymshark or get ready to buy your family and friends loads of lovely new clothes, check out the Black Friday sale with Gymshark. Thank you again to Gymshark for sponsoring today's episode. I've got a friend, right? And we'll drink bottles of wine i'm talking we're not talking english to each other anymore but we're still going yeah next day she'll get up she'll get dressed she'll maybe go for to go to the shops and i think what the fuck is wrong with you no because i'll be like the anxiety and also the illness will overtake my body i also like i feel like it's a personal attack on me when people get up and do <laughs> yeah, things yeah, like I'll, I'll message into the group chat like a photo of myself with like my full makeup <laughs> on like hair yeah. level. which bear in mind i always like i always send a photo of myself into my group chat the next morning i don't know because i always yeah. look atrocious and i accidentally posted it on my i Inst was about to say didn't you just post <laughs> yeah i posted it on my fucking instagram main feed um I can still imagine people commenting being like slay i know <laughs> beautiful girly makeup tutorial for yeah me. <laughs> yeah what a girl but then i said i always sent it in my group chat my friend always replies like or at a cafe with a matcha and I'm like what the f like why are you doing how this? are you eating as well yeah oh no I'm a big eater when I'm hungover only in the evenings really because I find also if I drink water the next day gotta go 
I'll feel more sick drinking water hungover. I don't know what the science is behind it. Interesting. Do you not? No, I eat more than ever when I'm hungover. Fuck. I kind of like honestly enjoy a hungover day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I can just like let loose and like order like... excuse. Yeah, like order yeah. five deliveries. I love that. And I'm like a, I, w- I will eat like a bolognese for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> me yeah me, i'm like what's in the fridge like five <laughs> nights ago i'll take it it's a bit mold pick it Literally. off i love that you're in your single era now oh my god and i too. saw a clip that you said and it was so true you were like i can do what i want now mm. i can go out you are still single aren't you yeah, yeah, yeah. okay because for a minute there i was like i fucked up she's got uh, a boyfriend <laughs> yeah i was like she's actually married <laughs> um, you can go out you don't have to tell anyone mm. what's the vibe what is your single vibe right now I actually liked a TikTok just on the way here. And oh. it was like, just like waking up in the morning with no stress, like no one to text. Yeah. Like no one, to, you know, I don't have to tell anyone anything. I also write, okay. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm like not speaking to any boys on purpose right yeah. now because yeah. I don't need the stress. Like I'm celibate. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's out of choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep telling myself that no it one's is. in the DMs right now. No, it <laughs> yeah. is dry. Really? So it's never been more dry. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying that because same. Are you on like dating websites? Yeah. Is it Raya? Raya? I have Raya, but I've never like met up with someone from it. I've heard it's shit. Oh, yeah. It's just like businessmen. Oh, it's horrible. Really? And you only get like... 12 like swipes a day fucking hell and it's but it's all over the world as well so you, like you'll have like 12 people from seattle and they're all just like what are you meant to do with that right i will never swipe right on yeah. someone that lives across the world for me what's i'm, I'm not gonna get well how next. does that make sense are it's, they like in england visiting no, no, no they no. are literally in it's literally just all over the world what the fuck is the point i know it's stupid yeah i won't join then no i get scared of dating apps now like i used to love a bit of hinge wasn't really a Tinder girl, I'll be honest. Mm. Um, a lot of the men on there, dogs. But I just think, what do you talk about? Yeah, I would want to meet up like, like straight oh, away. Straight away. Yeah. Okay, let's role play. I'm a man. Okay. And you're, would you message first? No. No. Okay, I'll message you first. What are you replying? Hey. I'm, I'm so bad at talking to boys. W- me fucking too. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hey, um, whoa love your pics so sexy abs mm. i'd not reply okay that's fair i think that's actually a really <laughs> natural response to not reply to that i don't know why i slid in with that <laughs> because i just like i get the, i was actually like made a tiktok about this last yeah. time then i deleted it because i always get scared oh. <laughs> but um like I, my ex are so intense now okay go on give I me think some examples now that i've become single as well I, I i'm like oh i should be more picky like should, yeah. it's gonna take a lot now for me to <laughs> yeah. like actually speak to someone yeah so not like anything a boy does i'm like oh not interested yeah but like the fact that like a boy's even messaged me on a dating app sometimes i'm like ew how dare you yeah and yeah. like how many other girls are you messaging right now what is like something that you've stopped speaking to a boy over that's really pathetic like you've looked back and been like that was that was extreme um okay on raya someone yeah. messaged me saying what do you talk about on your podcast just fucking listen to it right and what like what, what you're, was that you're a 25 year old mom yeah. what, you, what business is it to you and i literally like never replied and then he texted me like two months later being like uh no no reply is crazy and i was like what did you expect that, it, it, people that double text on dating apps after the first message was not replied to are genuine they're on a sex offenders list yeah in my personal opinion because that is wild no m- men have no shame no shame i agree men have absolutely no shame and do you know what else they have audacity yeah audacity what is your like like how do you get like what's your line you know like what what game oh, do no. you play to get someone do you know what i'll do uh, what is my line <gasps> i'm not even line but, like how do you approach it oh what i'll do is i'll this is bad, but I'll like take the piss out of them to start with and see how they handle it. Okay. And then if they, fuck, this is why I don't sleep with anyone. <laughs> and then if they can handle it, maybe I'll like be like, ah, that was so funny. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do I do? I don't sleep with people, to be honest, or they don't sleep with me. So maybe he's right. Yeah. What would you do? What's your I fucking go to? I, I don't really sleep with people. 
I'm trying to think. Which like, is a shame because you could, fo- I'm being serious here. If you followed Leonardo DiCaprio, I know that the bar's low for that, but as in like, <laughs> you, he 100% was dump his current girlfriend for you. 100. I just like, I don't, I don't need, I have no game. You don't need game though. I genuinely don't think you need game. You know, sometimes what I do. Tell me. I'll like stare at a light for a second so that like my eyes get um, a little bit like watery. And when my eyes go watery, they go really blue and then I make them really wide and I kind of like play that whole like, oh, (laughs) (laughs) like I'm like a damsel in distress, like lost kind of, because like boys like that. They like that whole like innocent, like, oh Oh my God, like, oh my God, that's like a manipulation tactic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that you've caught on to that. Yeah. Watch me try it tonight and I'll look like I'm having a stroke. I'm like, Olivia Neal taught me to <laughs> shine crying. a light in my arm, like cross-eyed. No, because I did it the other day. I was out for like breakfast with a boy and he was like, wow, like your eyes are so blue after yeah. I did it. And I was Ooh. like, I literally was like, I let him in on it. I was like, I'm not going to lie. I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh. Yeah. I can change the color of my so eyes. So you went on a date? Well, I went for coffee with someone. Love that. Oh, that's really grown up. Yeah. I can't go on a date without drinks. Yeah. I'll be honest here. What do you talk about? Well, see, the thing is, if I go for... A, like a drink state then it could end up in bed well it will yeah it will absolutely yeah and i don't want that other one i'm not on that i don't yeah. want to give any boy like my energy you're celibate yeah how long are you planning to say celibate for until i find someone that like i think i will be in a relationship with oh because i find it really unfulfilling otherwise yeah do you find do you ever look back at your past relationships and think what the fuck was that or are you more one of those people that are like i am thankful that i met them no, I'm not thankful that. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah, yeah, at no, all. I don't get. But I think it, everything that you go through like makes like mm. you as a person. Like I definitely learned a lot of lessons, and now I know exactly what I do not want in a relationship. Yeah, like, yeah, I can never yeah, have 100%. a repeat of that. Like my standards are higher, definitely. I love that. Do you hate dating when you're known on social media? Mm, no, really. Just with people getting involved. Oh. No, because I'm the one that involves everyone because I speak about my podcast constantly, you know? Like, I think when you have a podcast, like, yeah. I have no private life. 100%. Like, I will overshare everything. Then it will come back and bite you in the ass. It always does. Because then when they when they disappear, everyone's like, where are they? And you're like, fuck. Yeah. And also, the other day, like, I always speak anonymously about boys in my podcast. Right. And I got two notifications no. from two different men that I've spoken about my podcast. But, like, I've spoken about these people so vaguely. Mm-hmm. Like, one of them, I said... Like he's dry on Snapchat, and the other one, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a hard. And one the fact that he Snapchats anyway is like weird. Yeah, and the other one, like I like I don't fault like anyway. It's just so anonymous. Yeah, <laughs> and I got a notification from both of them within the same ten seconds, being what? like, "Hey, like stop speaking about me on your podcast." Oh please! It was please, and I obviously like fucking manipulated them and was like. Don't flatter yourself. It Not wasn't about you. you. It was obviously about yeah, yeah, deny till you die. That is something yeah. I always do, especially on a pod. I'd be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you think that's about you? That's really weird, actually. Why are you listening to it? L- what man? What? Like, I don't know. Like, my podcast is for the girls. I find it a yeah. violation when a boy listens to my podcast. Do you know what I'm impressed with, though? I was saying earlier that you can... If someone just put a camera in front of me and I had to talk for an hour, I'd be like, so um politics yeah i wouldn't know what to say and you just bang it out i'm not a big chatter though anyway like Mm. on my day-to-day life i don't really speak to people like i'm not if i'm in a conversation i always i feel like i ask questions more yeah that's another thing i do on dates you're a questioner because men love speaking about themselves they fucking do and they'll think that they're in love with you but really i've just let you speak to me like speak at me because i can't be asked yeah and what do i have to say to you i'm not telling you my information so true yeah i'll let them know how many cats i've got and that's it yeah that's it i don't need to know anymore i'll tell them like my dream holiday and that's it <laughs> drop hints yeah i want to skydive literally we were saying skydiving you would enjoy doing that oh i would love to for me that's a mental illness i think for someone to want to do skydiving yeah i brilliant. feel it like- <laughs> okay wow well. <laughs> you might be right but like that is like the whole like adrenaline thing like you yeah. want to get so close to dying and then not die. <laughs> so it is a bit concerning. Yeah, maybe you should unpack that. Yeah. I want to die, but I don't want to die. <laughs> you know, I've been strapped to the top of a plane before. 
Oh, one of those things where you're like, like lasers on a cross yes. and they fly up. Yes. Olivia. I did that once and it was incredible. And that's why I want to go skydiving because I love that so much. Wow. No, do you know what? At least, you know, when you finally do die, hopefully not out of a plane, yeah. you can be like, I've really lived my life. Yeah. I'll be like, well, You've I went to Mackey's a few times mm. and I did a pod and that will do it. No, you've done crazy things. Like what? You were literally telling me you went... No, to, yeah, I did do a bungee jump, but that was not out of choice. Like, if I could live my life the way I want to live it, mm. I wouldn't leave the house. See him day to day. Yeah. 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 Okay, fine. We'll see if I ever actually go skydiving. If you do, I want someone to just edit this into a little clip, and then the next clip is Olivia skydiving. Mm. And then I'll just still be sat at home watching, <laughs> watching you live your life. Yeah. Speaking of which, can we move on to something a bit more deep? Oh. Wait, so I don't know how to bring this. Oh, you want to laugh? I don't know. I think I know what you're going to say. The cancer thing. How did you go? How did you? <laughs> we, I don't know how you to know segue into so it. Funny. All my friends make jokes about it. Like, no, I didn't know what level we were on. So I was like, well. <laughs> my, my friend like sent me a t-shirt in the post. And it was like Ooh. an Etsy t-shirt. What did it even say? It was like, like oh, fuck. it was something about, like, fuck you, I'm a cancer survivor. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Today's sponsor of the podcast is Wine52 and how fitting for me. You know that if you're going to find me anywhere, it's going to be sat somewhere drinking wine. My friends at Wine52 are offering Saving Grace listeners a free case of wine from all over the world that you would not usually get. So it's time to try something now. All you need to do is go to www wine52.com slash grace and all you have to do is cover the postage which is 9.95 and you will get three bottles of wine delivered to your door you get to choose between white wines or red wines and you also get a glug magazine creating the ultimate immersive wine experience that's my friday night sorted for you can expect a range of styles from a juicy merlot to a crispy sauvignon blanc the world is your oyster with Wine 52. Wine 52 will take you to the beautiful vineyards of France, Italy, Chile, and more. After your free case, you will then join a monthly wine club. There is no minimum commitment and you can cancel or pause at any time. So remember that is www.wine52.com slash grace to get your free wine case today. Can I just say, this is so Gen Z about the fact that you said online, you were like, yeah, like, is it like a skin cancer thing? Yeah. You're like, yeah, I had... And everyone was like, well, you fucking did sunbeds then, obviously. And I was like, guys, can we just read the room for a second? I here? know. And it wasn't even from sunbeds. It was like a rare thing, wasn't it? It was like a tumour. Fucking hell. Like, it wasn't like a mole or anything. Like, if it was a funny mole, I'd be like, yeah, it's probably because I've had sunbeds in yeah. my life. Like, terrible. Oh, what, so it was a little lump? Yeah, it was a tumour. Really? Yeah, there it is. I feel so like... Fuck, oh my god yeah that's, like from the that's front, fucking hardcore though it but looks like scar. there's a chunk taken out of my arm doesn't there love that skinny <laughs> <laughs> like, add it to oh, the world yeah. <laughs> yeah, add it to my app <laughs> oh, so you had the surgery mm -hmm. and it's all fine now like I think so they're like it, we'll find out in like five months and like I, as soon as like it was over the surgery I went online and was like cancer free <gasps> And then, like two weeks later, I had my full appointment, and they were like, mm, "We're not like overjoyed with the whole surgery." The video. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so now, like, I'll Focus find out again in four months. I've got another scan in four months, but it's like not like bad cancer. Like, I obviously no cancer is great to but have. I get what you mean. But I couldn't. I wouldn't die from it. Wow. Yeah. Fucking hell. Because like it wasn't my. I didn't do anything. Like it was like some sort of genetic mutation kind of thing. Jeanette, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't. I, I basically just had you like, turning up to the doctors, like, yeah, like, yeah. while they're saying all this genetic mutation. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, I basically just said, like, was it my fault? Like, did I give myself cancer? And right. they were like, no, you didn't oh, give yourself cancer. Imagine if they were like, yeah, you yeah. stupid bitch. Like, fucking hell, are they meant to answer that? I know. And like, I had like a lump on my arm for so long. And I remember I would like go to like doctors and stuff and they'd be like, yeah, you're sweet. Or, oh, fob it off. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's horror. I know. But all good. Not like all I needed was the surgery. I didn't like, thank God, need any like further treatment. Well, I love that. Yeah. Th oh my God. Thank God. You just went in that surgery. You had that little open back gown. Yeah. And you slid it. A little nap. Did you have a little matcha after? Yeah, too. Yeah. Mm. As you should. And like my mum and dad came and saved me for like a full week after, oh. which I love. Like I love my mum and dad. Because they still live in Ireland, don't they? Yeah. So I'm mean, like oh. all my family live in Ireland. Do you go back there much? Never. Yeah, I don't. 
I suppose, does this, no, I can't say that. I was going to say, what is there? Well, because I suppose you're in London or your work's in London. Yeah. So it's like. Like my friends all went to uni. So I've got maybe like two friends in Belfast. They all go to uni? Yeah, everyone goes to uni in England. Like no yeah. one stays in Belfast oh, really. Good enough. And um, my, I still like my family are there and that's mm. it. Like that's the only reason. And then they come to London all the time. Do people mob you when you go to Ireland? Because I feel like you're like an Irish treasure. Not even, not really. Really? I think I like know everyone. (laughs) (laughs) You know, like it's so tiny that like I will have a mutual connection with everyone I see. Iconic. I love that. Like it's, it's so small. Have you been asked to go back to your school yet? Never. They don't claim me. Yeah, they don't claim, mine doesn't either. Yeah. I thought, fuck you. But also they don't claim Jimmy Dornan. No. So I'm like, well, they don't claim Jimmy. Well, who are they fucking claiming? They also, who else? You know, Bicep. Sorry, like as in like the DJ. Yeah, they went to my school. The DJ. What? I do. <laughs> Actually, I've got I quite like a, a good alumni. Yeah, no, you do. I don't have anyone. I had one person who went on Jeremy Kyle in my school. On Jeremy what? Kyle. Oh, like, is that the one where like, like trouble people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a really polite way of saying that. Yeah, missing teeth. Inbred. <laughs> troubled people. Crazy. And you're like, the troubled people. Great. <laughs> That was really nice. You I've are PR trained. I've never I seen it. I've never I feel like you are good on that. Like you are good like PR trained. Do you think? Yeah. Like I, you don't say out of pocket shit. I think I've had, I've had my fair share of scandals. Do you get scared of being cancelled? Yeah. Petrified. This is, yeah. I agree. Like I have so much anxiety about it like, every day. Like on my podcast recently, I spoke a boy. I was like, Oh, I was scrolling on, because I always talk about my ex, and I was mm-hmm. scrolling on TikTok and was like, I saw a really hot guy, but then I realized he was posting TikToks and it gave me the ick. Like I, valid. Yeah, I just like, That's for some reason, which is like, yeah. it's obviously irrational because I myself post TikToks and- We're allowed to. Yeah. But like, there's literally like fucking farting compilation. Have you ever, has that come up on your food page? What? Of me? Oh, oh, what, my, a farting compilation? Yes. And like this boy I fancy like spoke to, like there's a farting compilation of me and it keeps going on fucking TikTok and like has like, Oh hundreds of thousands like my god i know exactly there is one where you rip ass when you opened a fridge that keeps coming up <laughs> yes <laughs> it keeps coming up for some reason and like this guy i fancy was like speaking to his friend and oh, was like no. yeah like i saw this video of her farting and it was kind of grim and i was like oh my god <laughs> like that is horrendous yeah but it would be weird like i looked at some of the comments because i thought what are people saying about this and some of them were like mm, yummy juicy fart right like they're really like you've got some fans <laughs> out there for your like ripping winds i was like maybe i should do this more often but anyway like i, I like any ick i say you can't yeah. take personally because i'm disgusting yeah. <laughs> and um this guy like somehow figured out it was about him oh that like me said like because i i kind of described physically him and yeah anyway he made it like a tiktok being like yeah there's really like well-known tiktoker said that like what i'm doing is an ick and i was like why all the comments are like Earth. oh like says way more about her than you and i was just like oh let Hold me out. have he's my not gonna fucking fuck you. right he's not gonna shag you i promise you i was like like let me let me live like i don't have to like be turned on by everything every boy does <laughs> you can get the ick also i'm sorry i do agree like i know this is really rude of me to say but i would never date a man that does tiktoks i know i would especially if they're like what's up guys great or like talking stitch no like duetting yeah if someone's duetting like oh my god crazy like i would be like you're blocked yeah even just a man like posting an instagram i'm sorry like anything they do on social media cringes me oh Oh my god or sometimes the way boys type makes me feel sick in what way so if they're like hey exclamation mark way too enthusiastic they need to bring it down and not is this an office job (laughs) are you hr yeah it's horrible and uh Oh my God. Someone sent me a message and because we're not on talking terms, he signed it off the text me- with his name. Criminal. And I thought, <laughs> I know who, I know who you are. Oh my God. We slept together. Kind of regards like Jordan or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Weird behavior. 
As if you don't have those like contacts here. I've literally seen your balls dangling <laughs> and you want to go, kind regard. Do you know what I mean? That's really fucking weird. The only person I know who does that is my, well, my dad does that. And that's fair enough. But I'll I'm let like, him off. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are. Like I've got, like, I am, ha like, half of me is you, you know? Yeah, why is he so... <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Dad. Dad. That's really all. Bless him. I know. Just in case you forget, you don't know. I know. What is the... You've been on holidays a lot, right? You're a travelling girl. I see you here, there and everywhere. Yeah, you I have are. been travelling quite a lot. What is the wildest holiday you've ever been on? That's a good question. Thank you. Let me think about it for a second. It's fine, I'll just sip my drink. It's no rush. Hmm. Mm. Well, you know... I haven't ever been that far. Like, I've been to America and Mexico. Okay. Yeah, well, you've been far. How can you say you haven't been far, but you've been to Mexico? Yeah. Mexico. <laughs> like, I've never... Okay, I always think, like, if I went to Bali or, like, Thailand or right. Australia or something, that would be, like... An, yeah, it's like, fucking far. Yeah, yeah. That's valid. That'd be a... Cr or, like, Japan. I would love to go somewhere like that. I feel like you'd, you'd be, like... In Japan, I feel like you'd be, like, an it girl. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I can really see that for you. Thank you. Yeah. Anytime, carry on. I would love to go, but um, I think all my craziest holidays I've had have probably been, oh, in Cannes. I went to Cannes Film Never Festival. Been. Oh, what was that like? Um, it was just like crazy. Like every party I went to was just so Black Mirror. Like really? Yeah. What do you mean? Just like celeb. I just love watching celebrities. Like so do I. It's the most interesting thing ever doing doing shit that you'd never thought you'd see them do as yeah. well is like wild yeah yeah i love it like i remember like this select like probably one of the most famous people in the world i maybe i think and um i saw her like her ex was at the same table like we were right. all at the same table <coughs> i wasn't speaking to either of them by the way i was just there because my friend yeah. invited me um but she, so she was there and she's been rumored to be like dating this other really, really famous person. Ooh. So he wasn't there, but her ex was. And she kept like running up to her ex, and, like tapping him on the shoulder and laughing and running away. And I was like, sorry, you're just like me. No. <laughs> like, this is insane. And like, why is she doing that? I know it was so weird. And like, she would like stand, like she would like just like walk up and like stand beside him and be like, they just like not like you know like just how you sometimes just trying to get like a little bit of attention yeah on. wow i know but like it wasn't really that anything that crazy but because of who it was i was like wow like oh can you say who it is and we bleep it yeah fuck off yeah rosie what <laughs> wow i know oh i'm so glad i know that now Oh, that's incredible. I want to go to america and see american celebrities because for me american celebrities are a different breed who is like a big British celebrity? Me and you. <laughs> no, I don't know. Who would be like, maybe like Adele. I know, but she's no, not she's even in British. America. Yeah. But, okay, hold on. Let's think. Like, Maya, J yeah, but true. She, you know what? To be fair, Maya, J but I'm trying to think of someone who's like, even old people would know. Yeah. Like, fucking hell, do we have anyone? Like, that's what I mean. It's wow. like celebrity culture in the UK is a bit boring. I don't get like I'm. I don't get riveted by it. Like back in the day, Kate Moss. Yeah. Oh, of course. Like, and like Dua Lipa. One kiss is all it takes. Yeah. At the end of the day, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Dua Lipa. But we don't. And you know what I always say? When British people get cancelled, no one in America will know unless they're like proper followers. Yeah. If someone in America gets cancelled, everyone will know about it. The whole world knows about it. Yeah. And it's like. I don't know. Americans are just a whole different like ball game. Yeah, it scares it's me. So interesting. You need to. Would you go live in America? Never. Yeah, I have. A, I have American friends, you yeah. know, and I love them. Yeah, but I just prefer British people and Irish people. I think humor wise. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of times where I've I've said a joke and it's ob it's so obviously a joke, and people are like, I "Can't believe she just said that." Yeah, that and it's crazy. it's not even it's not even American people actually. It's mm. people from LA. Like they are really never been, and I'm scared to go. Oh, you do not you need don't to like go. LA. I like LA because it's warm and they've got like nice restaurants and like nice like I went to Air One, which is a fucking life changing experience. What the fuck is that? Air One. It's like how can you say that? Expect me to know? Air really? One. How do you not know what Air One is? What is that? Like I feel like it's so famous. No, it's like that place where that they do the, the really expensive smoothies, like the Hailey Bieber smoothie. 
That is so you. Olivia, I sit and rot at home. Why would I know what a smoothie shop is? It's that is so on brand for you. I don't even you. drink smoothies. <laughs> I just watch too much TikTok and it's like TikTok viral. Yeah. So like the first thing I did when I got to LA Went was there. go. Don't yeah. be there. Everyone was like, what do you want to do like first time in LA? And I was like, marijuana. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to go. But um, no, I do. Like, I don't mind LA. It's just like the people, it, it, it is just interesting. And also I feel like Skid Row would scare me a bit. I, I actually, I never saw it because it's, it's in downtown and you would never actually really go downtown. Oh, I thought it was just all mixed I can't together. say that. Downtown. Downtown. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but that was quite amazing. Like I'm surprised said. you didn't imitate Dine me. Dine. I did like that. I've never said downtown and no one not imitate me. Do you know what? I want to go to Ireland and find a man. Really? Because if an Irish man said to me, you are an ugly oaf of a bitch, oh. I would say, let's fuck. <laughs> Thank you so much. I like like an like a Southern Irish accent, like a Paul Mescal. What is your like accent kink? Like if you had to pick an accent for you to date? I would like, oh, a proper London one, like. Posh or like no. black cab driver? Yeah, like when people are like, oi, miss. Oh, oh, you want like a road man? Yeah. I don't see that for you. No. Because but, you're really like, you know, you're like dainty and lovely and you just, you know, you just have a cat. And, <laughs> and I feel like then be like, you're miss. Like, I can't see this dynamic. What, like, it's just what I find sexy. Have you fucked a road man before? What do we call a road man? I don't know. Like someone who's like, you. Yeah. Like someone maybe who has like a man bag. No. <laughs> and wears like Canada goose is what no, I No, no, no. 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 Oh, okay. That's what I'm imagining. No. Okay. But like I've spoken to people with that accent before, but they haven't been wearing like the bum bags. Okay. Well, that makes sense why you'd speak to them then. Yeah. I don't know if I'd speak. If someone walked in with a man bag, would you speak to them? No. I, I'm really icked up about what people wear. Would you? Uh, no. Um, Fuck it. What is your type? My pulse. Um... <laughs> I don't know what my type would be. Do you know what I'm? I maybe in the future go for now, like an old man who's like a bit like rude and like old. Yeah, but maybe like, do you know David Ginola? Um, no. He's like a silver fox. He's French, obviously. He has a wife, so I wouldn't go there. But mm. maybe if someone just copied and pasted him with like an Irish accent mm. or like a proper Essex accent, I'd get on that. Do you like Wayne Lineker? No. <laughs> I I mean, I, wait, I do like him as a mate. And I'll see you in Ocean Beach. <laughs> but I don't know. No, I don't know if, no. Wait, are you, you? friends with him? Yeah. <laughs> he leaked my number the other day. <laughs> so he messaged me he was like grace and i was asleep and then he <laughs> rang me and then he took a screenshot of him and this girl being like answer but what we didn't realize is when you ring someone on whatsapp it comes up with your name and the number below oh yeah so he put it on his instagram story i woke up to like spanish people calling me and i don't speak spanish so mm. i didn't know what was happening? I checked my store. I said, can you fucking take that down? <laughs> Jeez, I want free entry next time. That's crazy. But that's the only, and he came on the pod once. Really? Yeah. I nearly got sued from that podcast. <gasps> Why? Because he said that he dated someone and the person that he said he dated did not like the fact that he said he dated her. Did he not? He did. Oh. Yeah. Oh, don't sue someone over that. Would you be pissed off if someone was like, I dated Olivia now? If I dated them, no. Okay. Fine. Yeah. I mean, actually, yeah, that's completely valid. Yeah. If yeah. they were lying about it, I'd maybe be like, mm, that's a bit weird. <laughs> but I wouldn't sue. I remember one time, um, I was in Ibiza. I think this must have been, it was, it was last year. Right. And me and my friends were staying in like this part of like, like near San Antonio. Right. It's so, like near all like Wayne Lineker's empires. <laughs> yeah, empire. <laughs> he owns it. Yeah. But anyway, we were like so hungry and hungover and we wanted to go for food somewhere and we found a Chinese restaurant near us. I and mean, we didn't know that it wasn't it, called cheeky one was it was it? called fucking cheeky one i knew exactly what you're about to say like, yep. i like also we didn't realize like we just saw this place called cheeky one yeah it's not like cheeky one it's like cheeky one like, yeah you don't, so yeah. like we like went there and like on the way there like we were like told the taxi driver like oh yeah cheeky one and we were like oh. <laughs> it's clicked and then we were like who the fuck owns a chinese restaurant and calls it cheeky one when 
we pull up outside Wayne Lineker's car outside we all take photos in front of Wayne Lineker's car obviously we were like obsessed <laughs> he's like sat in the restaurant the whole time we're like oh, and we're like taking photos with him from across the Shut restaurant up. What, yeah. last year yeah did he come up to you no I thought he would no but he walked like we were like near the exit so like when he walked past I like, made my friends take a photo of me like this and he's just like a blur <laughs> in the background walking past I love that you could have easily just been like Wayne that was meant to be your we, accent. That was not your accent. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was rude. <laughs> no, it was, it was meant to be Irish. No, but you good. could have gone up to him and said, Wayne, I'm Olivia Neal. Are you all right? No, but you know, like those people in your group that are just like elusive celebrities and you don't want them to be anything else. Oh, okay. Like he yeah. needs to remain this mysterious Ibethan. If he asked to sleep with you, you'd have said no. No, or yes, okay. I am not into older men at all. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, honestly, I wish I was. Really? I just feel like I need someone that like has their life together because... Yeah, that's the only reason I'd want an old man and maybe like a fat wallet. Yeah. And that's about Yeah. Because yeah. I think... I would say like we... like I, I know we don't and like I actually mm. do wrong in bed like six days out of the week. <laughs> yeah. But like we would... Ha we have our lives like quite together, you know? Like we've yeah. got a job. Yeah. Sometimes busy. Sometimes. Sometimes not. But, like, a lot of the boys my age or your age, yeah. how old are you? 24. How old are you? 22. Slut. Oh, are you? Yeah. You're a wee lamb. Love that mm -hmm. for you. I'm literally two years old. Aren't <laughs> um, but, like, boys our age, like, they've just gotten out of uni, like. Do you know what else as well? With an older guy, I feel like their dicks don't work that well. Yeah. So, like, for me, that's, like, brilliant. I'll maybe have to shag you, like, <laughs> once a month. And I will just have to lay there. Have you ever been with, like, an older man? I don't think. Uh, oh, I, over 30. I've got with a woman over 30, okay. but never a man. I okay. wouldn't know what to do. What are we talking about? Mortgages? Yeah. I don't really know what the vibe is. Also, like, if you're over 30 and like, you don't have like a family. Do you know what I find a little bit weird? Like, Maybe like, are they weird for liking me if yeah. they're like late 30s, 40? But that's like every man, isn't it? They always want like, like a... They want a younger model. Young 20s. Do you know what I'm scared of as well? If I get older, I marry a man and then he leaves me for a younger model, I'll go to jail. <laughs> I promise you I'll put a firework up her ass. Yeah, I could not deal with that. No one will leave you for a young would... model. No, you're absolutely fine. No, you never know. I could age like a fucking... You could age like a leather boot. Yeah. You could take us all by surprise and age like shit. We'll like Olivia Neal. I think by the time I'm 30, I will just let myself go. We, you maybe just like Botox it up. I don't know if I want to get Botox. I've had Botox in my jaw. Oh, your jaw looks great. That I want Botox in my jaw, but I'm scared. I really think it's the best thing I've ever done. Really? But I Go to the side. That. Yeah, it looks that. fucking well, no, great. I've, I, it hasn't actually changed like the definition oh, of you've my... You've naturally had that. I fear. You. you know, I've actually always had a good um, oh, I will. definition. Not yeah. even going to lie. So yeah, don't, fine. just in case you think yeah. that Botox will give you that. It's more like from the front on. Right. It, ma it makes me right? look like I've got cheek filler, I think. Not, well, you've got like prominent cheekbone. But I never did nice. before. Oh. Ever. Nice. So then I got Botox in my jaw. No, I just feel like it's a bit more defined. Well, Botox scares me a bit because it's like... Are you in pain or are you laughing? Yeah. Do you oh, know when what you I mean? Yeah. And they're like, ha ha. And I'm like, are you laughing? Yeah. Should I call an ambulance? That's why I don't know if I ever want to get it when I'm older. No, I can't lie. When I get to 60, fill me the fuck up. Really? I've got nothing left to lose. My mum is a proper like, age gracefully. You don't need makeup. You've, and she looks fucking great. Mm. But for me, I think I vape, I drink. I lived in Nottingham for four years. That's got to have <laughs> aged me somehow. So uh, you've got to fill me up at some point. Yeah, I'm all my mum is up. like she hasn't had any Botox and she's all about like she aging gracefully. Right, yeah, she says aging gracefully, but she is a yoga instructor. She eats like one Rivita cracker a day. You've got a yoga mum. Yes. How was that growing up? Actually, uh, my my mum and sister are both like really health and fitness. Love that. Like so healthy. Oh. That's yeah, it terrifying. could have been a bit damaging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no I think I can avoid that. it. Yeah. But like, I'm actually not into sport at all. Like, they're really, they, they will go every single day at exercising. I know. Nah. My but do you do like, like yoga? No, no. I can't fucking touch my toes. I tried stretching. I had to do stretching on the show every day for three weeks. And it it's not enjoyable. Like, I felt sick. Like, mm. I was like, this hurts. I also like, like, it's not stimulating enough. Like, I yeah. start to think about like, 
something I said to someone when I was 13. Yeah, and I'm know? starting to cringe now in Downward Dog. Yeah. It's not a good look yeah. for anyone involved. Annoy me, I will fart. <laughs> and I'll film it and put it yeah. on TikTok for you. And people you. will love it. They'll be like, I want to see I am like, like, I'm like incredibly gassy person. It's crazy. I don't know what I Are eat. you like an IBS girl? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, fine. No, like I, I, I'm never like, I'm inco incompetent. No, what does that mean? I'm also a gassy... I think everyone's a gassy girl, to be honest. Really? Yeah, like, I 100%, like, sometimes I shock myself. But, like, I have been with boys, and they've been like, I have never in my life heard a girl fart like this. Really? Oh, are yours, like, loud? Well, they're so loud, I can do it whenever I want. Yeah, mine are loud, and I feel... It, pieces, you know, when I... This is... I've overshared, but when I first got with my ex, what I'd do is I'd spread my cheeks apart and pretend my farts were little, like... I'm like, oh my God, I just farted. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and then like four months in, I'll be like, bar. Like, I'd, be really, I'd be like, I'm not spreading my cheeks anymore. I used to like, after me and my ex broke up, we would like also like sometimes see each other, which is stupid. You should never do that. Yeah. But anyway, he would like put his hand on my bum. What's going on? And I would just fart <laughs> to get him off. Because <laughs> that's so, like, that's the only time farting on demand has come in handy. And every time you're like, oh, like you're just... <laughs> So do you ever cringe after you're like, I farted all the time in front of that man and they could just be telling people yeah. that all the time. Like I like always think like, what if he gets a new girl and it's like, oh, I'm so happy you don't fart. Like my ex used to fart so much and it was gross. Yeah. Do you know what they are saying that about us? Yeah. Be, that a hundred percent is a thing there. Yeah. But also like, is this how we stay slim? <laughs> Sometimes I think uh, it might be. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like you don't get like, you just fart out all the shit. So like, it just weighs you down oh yeah i'm never bloated like you know when those girls like post those TikToks and be like oh i'm so bloated and they literally look like now like, pregnant yeah never yeah i'll fart that out straight away yeah you will never see that from easy 100 percent. i'm really scared about the comments of this video because i feel like we've really overshared who's the most famous person to slide into your dm <laughs> hmm. apart from me obviously probably like molly may <laughs> Like, actually, no one. Molly May. I have never had someone that I've been like, whoa, oh, Tagger. Okay, well, yeah, that's valid. What, did he want to, like, meet up? What did he even say? I think he was just like, hey. Pod? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan Is of your fart. about me? <laughs> <laughs> I think he probably just said, hey. Want to meet up? No, no, no. Never oh. asked me to meet up. I was going to say, that's quite a flex. I'll take Is that. Is it? Yeah. I'd take that. But yeah, apart from that, no one really interested. Yeah, no one slides into my DMs even. It really fucks me off. And like, my fucking, my friends mm. have the craziest DMs from people. Okay, who's like the most famous person that's DMed your friends? You don't have to say which friend. Well, like, no, I don't even know if he ever, no, he did DM her. Channing did him. I'm like, how do you get these people? That man follows me. <gasps> and that's my only flex. He is engaged and I wish him well. But that's, that's my only flex. Yeah. Why yeah, did he follow you? Um, I said that I got a massage and the person spanked me and he followed me from there. Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but I looked really clapped in it as well. My hair was disheveled and I was like, guys, like speaking like a proper bloke. Mm. Clearly he wanted a slice of that. Mm. And you can blame him. He's only human. <laughs> um, so your pod mm. in a monologue is your, tell me about it, your new series. What's the vibe? What's the vibe on it? It is just like me talking about... Are you spilling tea this season? Like, yeah, but also sometimes I feel like I could spill more tea. I get so nervous and I speak about everything so bigly sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I have so much to say and I have so much to say that could get me in shit, but I'm slowly getting there. Like I did tell some interesting stories in my last one about like an encounter with a celebrity. This is the thing that like, I fucking love celebrity gossip. Like if I could oh, just make my podcast with celebrity gossip, I would. Same. Yeah. yeah. That's what I live for. Literally. Are you told one about? Were yeah. you scared? Yeah. Cause I'm like, what if I run into this person? And he's never, ever going to listen to my podcast. That's what I was saying. And do you know what as well? If you don't say names, I always think you could be like, you did that. I didn't even know. Yeah. I, I was talking about Channing Tatum. Like, yeah, what the fuck? True. That's what you should do. I think go for it. Yeah. Who cares? And if you get cancelled, good publicity. Mm -hmm. And you, everyone comes back from it in like three months' time. Have you ever been cancelled? I can't. No, there's no word. <laughs> Not really, no. But when I know the day will come and when it does, 
check on me. Yeah. Check on me. Because I won't take that well. You won't be cancelled. Fuck you. for. Why would you put that out there? You no. touch something now. Cannot believe you just said no, that. No, because you're a really nice person. Well, like, people used to get cancelled for, like, silly things. But, like, now I feel like people get yeah. cancelled for actually just genuinely not being nice people. That's valid. That's true. You know? But you just never know, like... But there is, like, there's, like, people I know that are actually, like... Like, people have gotten cancelled for things that I don't think are cancelable offences. But then... 100%. There's, like, a, like people I know that are actually horrible people that haven't been cancelled. And I'm like, oh, I want to fucking cancel you. Do you know what I hate? Oh my God, when you know someone's a prick, they're a prick to everyone and everyone's like, my comfort YouTuber, I love them so much. They are so kind. And I think if you know. Yeah. If you it know. This is me all. I'm also like, their time will come. Well, you'd like to think I'm still fucking waiting, to be honest <laughs> with you. I've been on the app two years, but I just think there's no way. No. There's no way. How can you keep this up? And they're like, just having a lazy morning, just thinking about life and how lucky I am to be in this situation. I'm like, when are you slagging off poor people last week? Like, what? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just think, what? Wait, who is it? I don't... <laughs> <gasps> Fucking hell, you've had your tits done. Oh my God, yeah. And they look... Listen, I saw you at my jammers. I didn't know they just looked stupid. No, though. no, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even look at you. I was just looking at your tits. <laughs> I was like, so lovely. Can't wait to see you Friday. Just walked off because I was like, this is weird now. This has become weird. They look great. No, okay, so they actually aren't that big. I when I was thirteen, I think, or no, fourteen. Like obviously, everyone else had hit puberty, and I never hit puberty. Uh -uh. I never got tits. They never yeah. came. <laughs> yeah. And um, Kylie Jenner did an interview saying that she never got surgery. She only uses the Victoria's Secret bombshell bra. Obviously, she got a fucking boob job. Oh come on. Yeah, yeah. but I added up. I was like, well, mum, for Christmas I need this Victoria's Secret I need bombshell that bra. bra. <laughs> and she got me, it, and it did nothing because I had no boobs, so it was just a gap in some pattern. <laughs> But I kept that bra ever since. Yeah. And I oh. use it on Halloween. And like, Dip I'm not going to lie. Like, I still get comments all the time being like, didn't you get a boob job? Like, where did your boobs go? But you wanted natural tits. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, oh, like, maybe I should have gone a bit bigger. Because like, I, I want sometimes that like look. But I find the Victoria's Secret bombshell bra I wore it on Halloween. And it did bits. Give me a second boob. How was the, the boob job? Because to me, that scares me. Yeah. Like the aftermath. It was sore for a week. Oh. Like, yeah, it wasn't really that bad, actually. Okay. The worst thing about it was, like, they put, like, I was so high for the full week. Like, yeah. I was on, like, because they give yeah. you muscle relaxers. So that like, I had it under my muscle. Oh, okay. So you can get it over the muscle or under the muscle. Mm -hmm. And I had to get it under because <coughs> I didn't have enough breast tissue. Bless you. And um, they give you muscle relaxers so, like, you don't tend, I don't know. But, like, the whole time I was just floating about my bedroom. Oh, you had a great time. Yeah, then. I was literally, like, on another planet. <laughs> And they also gave me, is it codeine? Fuck it, really? Yeah. Yeah, you I were on the private, hard shit. So I was just, give me, give me every drug you have. Oh, did you go private? Were you yeah. in a private hospital? Yeah. Did you steal the shampoo and conditioners? No, oh my God. I literally went in at 9am. Yeah. They sent me home at half 11. Oh, quick trip. Yeah. I was like, That's I woke like up brunch. there like, can you get up and walk? And I went, give me a fuck, like, give me a second. <laughs> it was give so intense. Give fucking minute. And like, it was just like in a house in Hardy Street. Like, what? no, I look back, I think probably a bit dodgy, yeah, but they did the job. I think okay. Yeah, but, um, no, I had, like, for the first week, it was fine. I was, like, the coding makes you constipated, and that was the worst pain oh, I was in. Oh, yeah. No, I can imagine. Mm. Who was the first person you showed? Person? Who was the first person you showed? So, my surgeon... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's stupid. My surgeon came in after the thing and was mm. like, like I, like, I'd just woken up. Like, I was still, like, I didn't know, yeah. like, where I was. And then my surgeon just appears in front of me and he's like, I took some photos um, of you on the table, like if you want to see, because like, obviously you can't see you're all bandaged up and you've got like this like big fucking compression bra on. He's like, if you want to see, so he airdrops me. Fuck these off. These photos of me. Absolutely. And it's just like me lying Fuck there, off. these huge fucking tits <laughs> strapped to my chest because they were huge when I first got them. Like obviously you're so inflamed and shit. And he just like sent, like airdropped me it. And I, I couldn't even say thank you. He just walked out the room. And then like my first initial thing was like, let me just send this in like a group chat. I have like seven girls. Like, girls like I'm not, I wasn't even that close at the time. But thank I, God that's not the one you accidentally post on your fucking Yeah, Instagram, literally. I would post it. It's funny because my face isn't even in it. It's just tits on a table. And um, I sent it in to my friends and they were like, ew, they were like, we don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. It's not nice, you know, it's like. You just laid there. With yeah. The tits there. Fair. Maybe that's quite people. traumatizing. But like, I haven't really had a lot of sex since then. So sometimes I'm like, was it a waste? But I did it more for was me. Was it a waste? <laughs>
<laughs> like they're not getting their use, but I like them. Yeah, as you sh- as long as you like them, mm. who gives a fuck? And I'd maybe like I'd put them on like a shelf. Like if a guy came round, I'd be like, you have to stare at them for ten minutes and compliment them. So I've got my money's worth. Yeah, five k. So five k. Yeah, that's um the best five k I've ever spent in my life. Though that's like that's a master too. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, but it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Wow. Yeah, I just said that about Botox. Botox was not the best thing. You could, I could, my life before Botox was completely fine. Would you get any other procedures? No. Fair. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Thinking about it. <laughs> no, 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 I'd be too scared. I remember at one point I wanted a BBL and then I thought, what the fuck? No. Is Me with like my little skinny legs and a massive ass. Yeah, it I mean, it'd crazy. be nice, but like you could just go to the gym. Well, I mean, let's be realistic. Like if I am going to get an ass, it's going to be fake. Yeah. There's absolutely no way I'm going to the gym. I like have always been like the most flat bummed person oh, no. yeah. in the world. Yeah. And I've always just said like, that's just how I'm like, I'm built to how all the women in my family are built. Like yeah, same. Yeah. We're just like a, like a skinny family. Love that. And then my sister went and got a bum. Oh, she gyms though. Yeah. But. I was like, what the fuck? Because like, I always went, oh, there's not even any point in trying because I'm never going to get it, a bum. Yeah, it's hereditary. And then my sister got one. Is this, uh, is her name Emma? Yeah. Curly hair? Yeah. Is so you on TikTok? Yeah. And she posted TikTok the other day, like doing like squats and she's actually got a bum. And I was like, what the fuck? Do you guys get on is? quite well? Yeah. Or is it like sisterly arguments? No, no, we actually, we get on well oh. now. Yeah. Love, when you reach a certain age, you get on with your siblings. Yeah, oh my God, when we lived together, it was hell on earth. You like fighting? Yeah, you I used to get a hairbrush bump? and just slap her over and over again with the hairbrush. Brilliant, okay. Yeah. Are uh, things all right now? Yeah. <laughs> she's got brain damage, but she's actually really nice. <laughs> that is criminal. She's very docile. Yeah. <laughs> she just stares into yeah. the face. <laughs> Fucking hell. I can't imagine you doing that. Oh, I had like anger issues as a child. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. Because I... Was all like I'm the youngest, so I was yeah. always kind of like picked on. So then oh. I like had a growth spurt one day, and like I was like the tallest child in my family, and I was like, "It's my fucking time." This is my foot. You were like the Kendall Jenner of the family. Yeah, move over. Yeah. So then I overpowered her. Have you ever had like an actual fight, like not with a sibling? Never, but I think would like to. I yeah, I'd like. Have you ever watched Bad Girls? Well, no. It's really good. It's like 10 girls go into a house and they beat the shit out of each other constantly. Wow. No, but it's really good watch. I'd really recommend it. I not <laughs> that well. But I'd love to, maybe we should all do a bad girls club, like me, you, Molly, May, <laughs> all of that lot in a house. Get Zoella. really drunk. Yeah, Zoella. But I used to watch you in 2014 and just like fight each other and see who comes out the strongest. Have you ever done, you've never done one of the boxing matches, have you? I've got pierced tits. So it's just, it's a, no go for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so no go. There's no way. No, would you? No, Come I would on. be destroyed. Okay, say they offer 50 million. Oh. To fight me and me and you together in a ring. I would do it for like 100 points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, no. I would like, I would do it for a, like a small amount of money. Okay. Really? Yeah. What's the lowest you do it for? Okay, realistically speaking, because I actually, it'd be embarrassing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 50k. Valid. I would, I promise you, because I know I'd lose, it would have to be a million pounds. Really? For me to, me with a gum shield in, with this nose and this fucking jaw, mine's just a long neck. I don't have a chin. So in short, (laughs) boxing glove being beaten the shit out of. Come on. I know, but like, also you would get like so famous. Like not for good reasons though. Yeah, but think about Tennessee. Yeah, true. I wasn't really on Tennessee before her, her match and now I'm obsessed with her. I love Tennessee. I, I am She's obsessed. iconic. Yeah, and she's so gorgeous and the fact she did a boxing match makes her so much colour to me, I think. And she loves boxing now. Like I was watching Locked In the other day and she was like, fuck sake, they said there was going to be a boxing bag. And I was like, oh wow, she's into it. Yeah. If that was me, I'd just wham, bam and go. Mm. You, but you can't drink for like six months. Oh, that might be a problem. For me, I would just, just let them win. Sometimes I, like, I was, I'm meant to be doing Sober November right now. Oh. I give myself, what day is it? The 3rd of November? Literally the 3rd, yeah. I'm giving myself maybe to the 7th. What, did you, this sounds horrible. And obviously if you've got a problem with alcohol, like you, sh- you should stop drinking. What's the point in doing Sober, like, sober it, November? Do you know what I mean? Like if you you could die tomorrow and you've died sober 
<laughs> what the fuck? I just think, like, I was, f- for some reason, like, finding a reason to drink every weekend, even if there wasn't... you like, oh, it's cloudy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, I actually, well, no, I rely on it so much mm. for social situations. Mm-hmm. I could never be around people on a weekend and oh, not be yeah. drinking. Yeah, 100%. Or even like if I walk into an event and they're offering me a cocktail, I cannot say no. Events are different though. Yeah. Like, I'm so, Who the fuck is going to an event full of like really amazing looking popular people and going, water please? <laughs> I would be stood in that corner trembling. Yeah. There's no way. No, no. There's no way. But this is the thing. Like I think, was it last November? I tried to do like a bit of like a, a sober. I think I maybe lasted three weeks. Oh. It's but it, good. because of, I can't go, like I rely on alcohol for confidence, like, yeah. I would not leave the house. <laughs> I became a hermit for three weeks. So you did it, but you also made yourself like a, I don't know. A little hermit. What's the people that don't leave the house? Oh. Recluse. A recluse. You made yourself a recluse. Yeah, but like sometimes I actually quite like that. Like I could stay inside for three weeks on end and not. Oh, I could rot for the rest of my life. Yeah. And I'd be so happy with I'm that. I'm so good at it. 100%. I have, and those people piss me off. They're like, oh, I've been inside too long. We need to get out. Fuck off. Open a fucking window then. Yeah. <laughs> open the window and stick your head out of it and then get back in. Like if I ever feel like that, I open my curtains. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> I put on the TV and look what other people are yeah. doing. I'm like, wow, they're doing really well. Oh, you know what I've started doing recently, which is a bit weird. What? Like, I don't turn the TV on anymore. Okay. So I actually just sit there in silence, like on my phone. Why? Why are you? Is there just nothing on? Yeah, like, there's nothing that really interests me. And sometimes I feel like, like a bit depressing watching TV on my own. Do you know? I kind of get that. Yeah, it's like, who do I have to speak to about this? Actually, that is such a good point. I'll put something on the telly, but then just go on my phone. It's just background noise. Yeah. And I actually watch it. Like, I'm not sitting down, I'm putting my phone on. I'm putting on a movie to watch on my own. No. Oh my God. If I watch TV, it's when I'm doing my makeup. So it's in the background. I never watch it. Mm, no. Oh my God. It's something when you get out of a relationship that you're like, oh, like that is actually something I heavily relied on my partner to do. But I would... Oh my, have we just found a revelation here? I would only watch series with my boyfriend. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because it's like, you want someone to talk to you about it. Like, you have an empty feeling when the like episode finishes and oh you've got God. no one to reflect on that. Oh, you've really fucked up my yeah. day. Yeah. No, you'll never be able to watch TV again. I really enjoyed Big Brother this year as well, but yeah. I think maybe I'll just give it a miss now. Because you're so right. I'll watch it and be like... I'll just go to bed then. Yeah. Or no, you know what I used to have to do? Like, I wanted to watch Love Island this year, but I was really single. Yeah. So I would just have to like go on Twitter as like my way of like conversing oh with people. Oh my God. You are so correct. You, I'm like, yeah, they agree. I can, like, yeah. yeah, she's a bitch. Like, don't even know the bitch. Like, I don't. And I was like, I've become an incel. Like, oh why am God. I sat here watching Love Island and like agreeing with people on Twitter instead You've of like. You've really upset me. I know. I I do the exact same thing. Like it, wow. Yeah, maybe we need to get outside. And maybe touch some grass. yeah, maybe we should fucking touch some grass. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're gonna have to end this here. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no coming back from yeah, this. That's horrible. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for it's having me. It's been sensational. Me. We've really outed ourselves here as big farters. Yeah. Lonely, weird. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like complaining about being single and like how no one's signing into my DMs and I'm just like But then if they did I wouldn't reply anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Valid. And they could just watch this and immediately like be horribly acted out. At least no one's watching this. No man <laughs> is watching this podcast. And if they are, they've got a girlfriend by their side. Yeah. So you're safe. Yeah. You will watch them watch it now. Like, fuck. I know. I feel like actually like boys do watch podcast on the sly yeah and just on to find the out sly. what you're saying and i always sometimes think they're like oh, my girlfriend makes me watch it i'm like Do, really mm. because you could just walk out the room yeah i think you like it i'm not fucking watching football because my boyfriend's watching it Do you fucking think i'm sat in there sat in there brilliant <laughs> sitting there watching just players kick a sack of air about <laughs> for 90 minutes what the fuck is the point no, of watching that? No, that is one thing I will never get behind. Football just... And also, football fans are bizarre. They get so angry. We hate Tottenham, we hate Tottenham. Why are you shouting? When someone just talks to a TV. I mean, sometimes if I'm oh. watching a really intense movie, I'm be like, oh, no, don't go in there. No, but when... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no! 
<laughs> but even after I do that, I have a real moment. I'm like, oh, I yeah, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. No, but when they're like, you fucking, fucking ref, fucking ref. I'm like, sit down. Yeah, as if you could fucking do any and better. You barely leave the couch. Yeah. What, and then I, you watch match of the day after. Oh, that's even worse. Mind numbing. What? The bloke who does Walker's crisps. Well, <laughs> how is it? It's like I'm having an out of body experience. It's so fucking weird. And I don't get how you're watching night. And when no one scores in the game, you've just watched people dribble <laughs> for 90 minutes. Do you know how crazy that is? Yeah, it's insane. It's fucking bizarre. I will never understand. Yeah, let's leave it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope you're all well. Sorry to any football fans. <laughs> either. Um, yeah. Make sure you listen to Inner Monologue. Mo Jesus, I monologue. Inner Monologue. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Inner Monologue. Yeah, Inner Monologue. We'll just put the link in the description. Yeah. Don't bother typing it because you'll say the same thing. Um, and yeah, have a great day. <laughs> if you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. If you've been listening, give it a follow and a five star review. So bye, Olivia. Bye. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Well, I'm looking at the camera. Anytime. <laughs>